get that aircraft that led us back to our station here now we're gonna go to that and also we investigated the house and the photographs we looked at photographs and stuff and that's where we're going right now in big you know the way you can drive you can drive the photograph in that house that's where we're going baby So it looks like someone already got here to that to this place. The door is open. This case. Oh, this place stinks of petroleum. Avgas, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> it's all around the floor. Huh? Why would they leak gas down here? There's the gas container, and it looks like it's spread out too. Interesting. I'm gonna check this whole part. Anything in the kitchen? Some cornflakes? Nothing in the kitchen area? Nope. Yeah, it's like a trail that leads out to that door. Huh. Interesting. Can I open this? Nope. We can't open the door. So I think it just spread all over the floor. That's interesting. Anything over here? Nope. Nothing over here that I'm, I can see. Nothing right there. So let's check out this miniature bedroom. Anything? Oh, there's something here. Oh, there's like a passport and a ticket. Hangstrom is flying today on TWA. Hangstrom is dead, Cole. Why leave your ticket behind? is cleaning up ah so it looks like this man was trying to flee town from Miami to the Grand Bahamas so this guy Oscar is trying to leave town but Mapes is trying to destroy all the evidence that's something let's check out the passport press X to investigate further oh so this is Oscar Hanstrunk's passport that makes sense, because I, I don't know if that this is his apartment or this is McClellan's, but who knows? Let's just keep going. No, so this is definitely indeed Oscar Hangstrom's apartment place. He does have a wife named Angelica, Angelica, and his only child Daniel. He was born in Nevada. Slash Missouri? Huh, that's weird. I already have two states there. Oh, wait, no, it says press X to go further. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Press X. Press X. And press X. Press X to continue further. Hangstrom and McClellan are the same man. Oh, they're the same person. Oh, whoa! Molotov! Hold the gas. We gotta get out of here right now. Oh my God, we're look by the stove. Shoot the gas line, Paul. We're out of here. Yeah, we're shooting it. Oh. let's go. Let's go. We gotta get out of here. Oh my God, someone threw a Molotov while we're inside. All right, but we got out though. We got out. Oh. He's not getting away from us. It's Reverend Mapes. He's burning the apartment down. Oh, we're coming after him. We got sirens on on his butt now. Oh, he took a left from there. My goodness, he was burning the place down. That's crazy. But regardless, oh god, this guy is driving all over the place. Whoa! He turned left. I'm gonna try to get close. I'm gonna try to. Oh, he took a he took a right. Oh god! Wow, this guy juked me like an NBA crossover. That man juked me hard. Wow. Okay. Well, we're gonna catch up to him though. We're catching up to him. I need to turn on the sirens because I don't want to hit any pedestrians. 
He took a left from here. Oh, he's going back to the to the place. The same area. But we're catching up. We're catching up to him. You're not escaping me now. You're not escaping me, mates. You security men, Paul. Stay on mates. Knock them off the road if you have to, but stay on that. Oh, you security. Ooh. That security guy just crashed. It, huh? Get me just a little closer. I'm trying, Biggs. I'm trying, but there's another car behind us. Oh, he turned left. Ooh. He turned left. Good thing I hit the brakes as soon as I saw that left turn. He did. Regardless, we're catching up. We're catching up. Enough games, folks. Take this guy out. I'm trying. Oh, he tried to shoot me again. Tires. Wish me luck. Keep shooting at his tires because he's making crazy turns. This man is going crazy out here. Oh. Oh, he went right back to the aircraft hangar. Stop right there. Get out of the car slowly. Fire a warning round. We're gonna have to go through all the security men first. I hope you're ready for a fight, Aim Cole. At the tires. Oh, we're gonna have to fight these guys. Oh god. We got a pistol. Got that guy. Oh, I need cover. Oh god. Got that guy. Reload, reload. That guy's open. Oh, nope. Not anymore. So we're gonna have to shoot our way towards me. Stay huh? down. Got him. Got that guy. There's another one behind him. Yep. Oh no, I had to reload. Oh, but there's another vehicle showing up. And there's a vehicle that looks like it's coming from behind us. I'm Shooting across. Oh, that guy's still alive. He got a second chance. Oh, there's, got, there's a car behind us. Give me your shotty, boy. Give me your shotty. I need it. I need to get this gun. I need a better gun than this shotty. Oh, not this shotty, but I needed a better gun for this fight. I'm trying to shoot. Nope. I'm going over here. Oh, one shot, one kill. You know the deal. Stay in cover. All right. Oh, God. I'm trying to stick as much cover. I'm going to get closer. I'm going closer. I got it. Oh, God. I missed. I missed badly. Waiting to burn the peak. Got him. I got him to be. Cover. Oh, there's another vehicle. It will have to be the 45. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I ran out of my shot. I missed all of my shots. Oh, I need that shotgun. Give me that. Give me that shot. Oh my god. This is a crazy shootout. Oh, this is. This looks like a better gun. Thanks. Oh, it's a tapping. I got a tapping. How long do you think you can hold out? This is a good rifle. I got hit, but there's two on my left. Nope, I missed. There's another one over there behind the truck. Peek it, peek it. Oh. Got that guy. That guy's running. I'm gonna get this guy. Follow my gun. Oh no, I gotta reload. I gotta reload. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Got him. Okay, I got him. You want to play that? I need a better gun than this. Oh, he got this guy has a better gun. This one I can hold hold a spray weapon. That I can hold a spray weapon. We got cops coming in. This is crazy. We had to shoot. Look how many bullets I took. That's mental. Alright, open this door. And open this one. Oh, there's more people. Got that guy before he took the cover. Oh, that one's peeking. That one's peeking through the aircraft. I got that guy over there in the aircraft because he had a good vantage point. Let me reload. Got that guy. All right, move forward. Move forward. Let's keep moving forward. I need some of those bullets. Yep. Oh. Throw oh, right to the right. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that guy's running. Oh my God, I had to reload in the last second. Are you kidding me? Oh, there's a guy straight to the left. Where? 
Oh, he's on top. Can I hit that? Oh my god. I blew that man out of existence. All right, getting closer. Oh god. There's a lot of people. Got him. There's another guy from the distance. I'm moving forward again. Moving forward. This is a crazy gunfight in a hangar. Oh god. Got that guy. That guy's head peeking. Got him with a headshot. Oh, and I got a silver trophy for that too. Oh, I see Vernon. There's one more guy. I'm crossing over here. Oh god. Where's that other guy? I know there's him. Oh, there he is. I need, I need a, I need, I need that soldier to pop up. Got him. I saw vapes. Flip try. Oh my god, I couldn't get him. Come on, shoot him. Come on, just go. I can't hit him from that distance? Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Keep going. Oh god. I'm not trying to die here. I'm not trying to die. Got him. We got him. Oh my goodness. You're going to have to explain this to me again. So the guy at the chemical plant, He's planning on selling his magic formula to another company and skipping town with his assistant, but he blows himself up before he can manage it. So why the dead body in the refrigerator? Mapes, Captain. He was eliminating all competitors for the process. When it went bang, he burnt down the apartment to remove all connection between Hughes and the plant. Mapes, right. I remember Vernon Mapes. The guy had good, honest cops hanging their heads in shame. Glad he's finally out of commission. I don't know if it'll do you any good, Phelps. But between the spruce goose and half the city exploding, you might just have made the case of the decade. Case of the decade? Wow, Captain tells us we made the case of the decade for this? And we get a gold trophy too. Look at that, we got all the clues and we got all the questions right. McClellan and Akimoto might never be heard from again, but neither will Vernon Mapes. That is true, man. That crazy gunfight in the hangar. But let's continue. Good morning, Doctor. And a good morning to you too, Elsa. You look radiant. Thank you, Doctor. We haven't been seeing much of you lately, Elsa. You've been missing appointments. I'm sorry, Doctor. I've been feeling much better. That's very good to hear. And what has brought about this improvement? It's the new man in my life. He's convinced me to fight my addiction. Ah, the policeman from the newspapers. How has he coped with his fall from grace? He can finally see things from a human perspective, rather than the ivory tower he created for himself. It's making him stronger. And it's making me stronger, healthy. You wouldn't make a bad analyst yourself, Elsa. Should we swap seats? <laughs> We're both finding we have a lot to give up. And what is that? In my case, Lou, he went through hell along with me and still came out smiling. In Cole's case, his friend, Jack Kelso. Kelso? You've heard of him? No, uh, I just like the sound of his name. Cole and Jack are working on a case together. Is Jack a policeman too? No, he works for the district attorney. What? He's a special investigator. I thought you didn't know him. I have never met the gentleman in question. He has been looking into Lou's case. Cole thinks it might be linked to some fires he's investigating. You look pale, doctor. It's cold in here, Elsa. I think I'll close the window. Why are you looking at me like that, Elsa? You arranged for Lou to work at the Elysian Fields, Doctor. Your fears are unfounded. I meet many people in my line of work. There are many ways that people can be helped. Finding 
at work is just one of you. I don't believe you, Doctor. I've seen you with Monroe at the club. I'm sorry that you have come to that conclusion, Elsa. Uh-oh. I've always so enjoyed our conversation. <laughs> Ooh! I can see your future, Elsa. And Cole, the policeman. And Jack, the investigator. It's an unfortunate and grisly end. Oh! <laughs> I've come to help you, Doctor. To help you cross over. All your sins will be forgiven. Next slide. Who is this guy? And he's taking Elsa. What in the world? Gotta be one of these places. The arsonist's a bug sprayer. He must have worked at one of these joints. So we're back with Jack. We're back with Jack Kelso. Hold the skip the to your destination, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. So we're here at the first stop. Graphics Exterminators. See what we can sit find for Help somebody you? here. How many guys you have working here, Pop? Who's asking, son? It could be official or unofficial. Depends on how you want to play it. You should get to a hospital, son. That arm of yours appears to be letting in daylight. Save the pity for the other guys. They're the ones who need it. I'm looking for a big cowboy who works pest control. Does he work here? We don't have anyone like that here. You sure? I'm not the type of guy you want coming back. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, something's here. Oh, it's a newspaper. Crusade against corruption. Peterson pledges to clean up the LAPD. Assistant DA makes push for top job. Cites, so, cites sorry state of advice squad as motivation. Let's check it out. Oh. What have you got? Looks like a drug overdose. Get away from him, Phelps. This is my case. Shut your f***ing mouth. Since when does a bag man work a case? I knew this creep wasn't on the morphine heist. Victim of his own product. Hey, detective! Can we back it off a notch? This is getting out of hand. A time to talk and a time to shut up. Now is the time to be quiet, son. Courtney Sheldon was a corpsman, Roy. He served his country. He went out with a medical kit and an Army 45 into places that made the Valley of Death look like a picnic. He was either naive enough or dumb enough to get involved in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, along with the mayor, the DA, Monroe, and a certain crooked cop. He was involved in the morphine heist, but he has a puncture wound in his jugular, which makes this a murder case. He was a better man than you'll ever know. You say one more word about him and I will blow your f***ing head off! You finally lost it, partner. I have a pretty good idea why Shelton's dead, and I know about Monroe. Your vast, corrupt future is draining away as we speak. <laughs> I got better things to do than argue the rub with you. Stay with him until the coroner gets here. Make sure technical services bags the evidence. If you let this creep anywhere near it, I'll come looking for you. Yes, sir. You know, Phelps, you're not the worst asshole going around. Thanks, Herschel. Ah, so that's the first time we see a cutscene with Cole and Herschel in a newspaper. That's something. Alright, let's go to the next location then.
The next location is nuclear plug and something. That's what I said. All right. Next location. Nuclear bug and rodent control. That's what it's called. Okay. Let's head inside. Welcome to nuclear. What can I do you for? I work for the DA. I need to speak with an exterminator. Big guy with a cowboy accent. We have only three people work here. Me and two Mexicans. They're both on the scrawny side. Thanks for your help. Shout out to my Hispanic Latinos out there. <laughs> Just gotta give them a quick shout out. Alright, so now we gotta go to the last location now. Westlake Pest Control. Let's go to that location right now. Get into our car, of course. So let's see what the owner has to say from here. I work for the DA. I'm looking for a big cowboy who does extermination. Anyone like that working here? Well, I wouldn't want to get anyone into any trouble. We could do this the hard way. An address? Yeah. He lives in a bunkhouse on the remains of the old Rancho Rincon. Thanks. 